Gauteng MEC for Education, Banyaza Lesufi, will officially launch the St. Barnabas and UJ Metropolitan Maths and Science School in Bosmont, Randburg today. The institution will specialize in technology and in innovation. This initiative it will encourage learners to participate and do well in science, technology, maths and ICT subjects. It will give learners the skills they need for careers in the fourth industrial revolution. Lesufi is expected to launch the schools in a bid to to nurture talent in young people across the key disciplines. The department says industry and private partnerships were important to address unemployment and skills shortages by providing learners with the workplace experience, learnership, uh, artisanships and entrepreneurial skills. We now cross uh, to our reporter Anina Peens who joins us live from the school. Anina, very good morning to you. A really exciting uh, initiative, this uh, opening of the school, focusing on some crucial subjects that are needed for learners to thrive. What can we expect from there today? Yes, good morning, Mpo. Indeed, a very jolly atmosphere here at the Barnabas School in Johannesburg. Uh, just to provide a bit of background and context to the viewers, this is part of the Department of Education in Gauteng's project to have 35 schools of specialization before 2021. Um, and these schools are obviously based on the tertiary, um, aligned with tertiary subjects. So uh, this week earlier, they have launched also a school for fine arts. Um, today, they're launching a school that is focused on uh, technology. So the Barnabas College is partnering with the University of Johannesburg and specifically focusing on the STEM subjects. Now, for the viewers who don't know, that is science, technology, uh, economy, and mathematics. Um, to prepare learners, you know, um, we're in a, in a technical, a technologi technological revolution, and some of, these, some of the jobs that these learners might fill one day might not even exist yet. Um, but on this note, Mpo, I just want to turn to the department. I've got Steve Mabona um, from the Department of Education in Gauteng. Tell us more about this project and, you know, to, to tell us more about the projects in general. He says there will be more schools than, schools than 35 because they're moving it at quite a rapid pace here with the specialization schools. Good morning, Steve. Uh, tell us, just give us a bit of background here this morning, specifically this technological school. Why this school? What exactly is, um, are you doing here? Thank you very much. Look, uh, today we are you know, launching two schools in one. This is one event, but uh, we're launching two schools, St. Barnabas and UJ Metropolitan. It's schools of uh, maths, science, you know, and uh, ICT. They will be focusing, they will be exposed. We have a partnership with the uh, UJ and a partnership with Honeywell. I mean, then last year we'll be exposed in uh, computer, you know, you know, uh, you know, uh, subjects, you know, literacy, programming, uh, we're talking about uh, coding and robotics as well. Uh, so we'll be expanding more on uh, those. I mean, make sure that uh, learners are exposed to the careers, you know, while they're in the classroom. We can't be teaching things that are not going to be assisting our learners. Hence, we move into the schools of specialization, make sure that learners specialize. They know that uh, when they are ready, to enter into the corporate world. They actually, they can, don't need a diploma, they don't need a degree, because it's myth that all of us must have the diploma and degree. So we are preparing a learner in the classroom and making sure that uh, they, they, they move forward. I mean, some of the schools that we have launched already, I mean, learners created their innovations, uh, you know, the product that they were exposing to us and, you know, just exhibiting to say, this is what we have done already. I mean, you know, School of Specialization in Engineering. There's uh, cars that our learners has already, you know, produced. There's, uh, uh, you know, a robotic mechanism where you find that uh, there's a, a robot that is moving. They are utilizing their cell phones to do that. I mean, a school that we were twinning yesterday, uh, you, know, uh, you know, yesterday we were twinning two schools. So there's a lot of work that is happening in our space and uh, we are actually indebted to the vision of the MEC, MEC Panyazali Sufi, you know that is techno savvy, but then the partnership with UJ will come a long way because you know that the Vice Chancellor of uh, UJ, uh, you know, uh, Professor Mamarwala is, is actually good in terms of spearheading the fourth industrial revolution on what is it that we need to look out for, what is it that we need to prepare as a country. So Gauteng we lead and we know that uh, other provinces will then have to come to Gauteng and say how do you do it 
how can we assist and there will be no position to can assist them. Yes, they can follow your lead. But you just tell us how practical, how hands-on are these courses? What's the balance between theory and, 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 and in practice learning? When children then leave the school, um, how ready are they going to be if they don't they need degrees? And then this must be a quite a skilled, practical course. Definitely. Noelas are exposed. In, in some quarters, we, we take them to the to the warehouses of all those uh, companies that we partner with. I mean, here there's the uh, computer lab, which uh, is fully fleshed that will then be assisting them. About uh, over 197 of your grade eight learners will be exposed to programming already at, the, at, the, at that age, at that level, in that grade. They will be exposed to programming. They will be exposed to computer li literacy, you know, some of the subjects. And, um, you know, so it's very practical you know, parallel to what is it that is, uh, we have in the curriculum. So it's going to be assisting them because then you accredit them and say this is what they have attained while they are still here in the classroom. So it's very practical. We look at all the school of specializations that we've launched. You know, on Tuesday we were launching a school of specialization in the performing uh, arts uh, and the creative arts. I mean, we were serenaded there by music coming from uh, you know the performances that we, we, we were coming from our learners we even thought that look because uh, we have a lira that is actually offered to say in future we can partner with them we are thinking of uh, launching a huge festival of uh, learners that will be showcasing their talent to the country and probably patrons or you know parents will be in a position to say no let's pay for this service and uh, you know check out on how our learners have uh, been to will, will it be costing parents extra than these schools of specialization no 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 it's not even costing them because remember we have partnership with so many i mean here like for instance we're partnering with uh, honeywell uh, you know honeywell is very you know good in the in in, in techno communication i mean any flight that is there, there's an element of Honeywell production in terms of their communication technologies. We, UJ is partnering with us. We have uh, APSA. APSA is bringing money to make sure that we have learners that will be, you know, exposed to an, an, a corporate world, ready to work. I mean, APSA has been kind to us. In the performing arts, they also are partners. In the School of Commerce, they are also our partners. So we have uh, so many of our companies that are partnering with us. So it's not, it doesn't come at an extra cost. It comes with the partnership and the vision that the MEC is putting in the corporate world to say, come, partner with us, let's expose what you are doing, but also make sure that learners, you know, you can tap into this career and uh, make sure that they, they are exposed. Indeed, an exciting time in the educational space, uh, joining the technical revolution of the world and preparing children and learners uh, for the future. That was Steve Mabona from the Department of Education. Paul, we'll have a bit more later for you after the program. Um, we'll update you as to the rest of the events. Uh, this very exciting day at the Barnabas College in Johannesburg.